Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So in today's video, let's see how to import data to your Cosmos DB from one Cosmos DB to another. So I have created two Cosmos DB here, uh, demo 100 and demo 101. And uh, suppose it's not necessary, this uh, two Cosmos DB should be in the same subscription. If it's in a different subscription also it works uh, for the demo purpose i've created two in the same subscription and i'll show you how to import the contents whatever is there in demo 100 to demo 101 uh, without you know uploading uh, from your local directly between these two we can do the import and export so let's see that so for that what we'll need first is uh, you need to have the details of your Cosmos DB, all the access, everything you should have first of all. Then we need is I've created a, a DB over here. It's called Demo DB, and if you see here, here I've created Demo DB two. There is no container which I've created. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me import the uh, data first, some dummy data into this, and then let's uh, you know uh, import all the contents from hundred to one out one. So in hundred, I'll just create a new container. Let me give the name as demo container. Let me give ID as the partition key, as that's a common field. Now let me create create this. So for dummy data, if you want to, if you want the dummy data, what you can do is search for Azure Cosmos DB demo data. It will uh, bring up Microsoft's official link. Click on that, and there's an option called Browse Code. Click on this. Click on Sample Data, and you can download this one. So you can click on this to download the raw file. Once downloaded, you can import to this container. So there is no direct option to import uh, data to this uh, container. So we'll use the migration data migration tool. That's a tool which we'll use for uh, you know transferring the contents from 100 to 101 as well. For that, just search for Azure Data Migration Tools GitHub and uh, it should uh, you know, bring up the GitHub uh, URL so here click on this Azure Cosmos DB Data Migration Tool it will show all the repo code here we don't require all these things on the right hand side you will see releases click on releases and uh, download this zip file so I've already downloaded it and also extracted it once you download and extract you should see all the files over here like this and there should be two files dt.exe and there should be another file called dtui.exe so dt.exe is for if you are if you want to use this tool via the cli or command prompt or if you prefer the user interface, so you can use that. They have created a very uh, good user interface as well. Just double click this. So it will bring up this window. So there is uh, source information, target information, which we need to provide. So currently what we'll be doing is we'll be importing data to demo 100. And then we will move or copy demo 100 data to 101. So here, let's open this, bring up this um, data migration tool. In source information, just select JSON file and click on add files. Select the demo data which you downloaded. Volcano data.json is, is the one which I downloaded. Click on open, click on next. Here it is asking where you want to uh, um, what is the target information where you want to import this so I'll just give uh, the Azure Cosmos sequential record import 
and you'll have to provide the connection string and collection so go to keys in demo 100 there will be option for keys click on this i click on copy this is the connection string paste it here click on verify so it will throw an error to fix this error just give database and provide the database name demo db is the database name if you see here demo demo db now click on verify again so it's successfully connected now we'll have to provide the collection name so collection name is nothing but the container demo container is the name let me give that and you can give the partition key as well click on next if you want to log all the errors then you can create a you know error log file as of now i'll just skip this click on next you'll see all the summary over here just click on import so you should see the numbers coming up in transferred so it started to come there are about 1500 data so meanwhile you can just check if it has come or not over here directly click on items so you can see all the datas are coming up it's getting imported So once this is done, we will uh, transfer from or uh, move copy data from 100 to 101. So the import here is done to we have imported the data to demo 100. So we have contents or data to copy from demo 100 to 101. So let's click on new import. It's asking for do you want to reset import settings? Let's give no and uh, here in the source, source information select azure cosmos db provide the connection string so i'll copy the connection string of demo 100 so demo 100 connection string i have copied also let me give the container name now you can click on next here we'll have to provide the target information so here you will have to provide the connection string for the one where you want to copy this contents so i want to copy the contents to demo 101 so if you see here currently there is no container so let me first create the container over here again i'll give the name as demo container one just to differentiate uh, let me give it as id itself click on ok so meanwhile you can go to keys copy this connection string for this one So here the database name is demo db2 and the container is also created. Let's bring back the migration tool. Let me replace this only the connection string and replace demo db with demo db2 and container name I have given is demo container1. So let me give it as one now if you click on next i'll skip this part click on next it will show the summary click on import you should see all the contents from demo 100 coming to 101 
and this happens with without doing any upload from local without doing anything extra we can directly copy contents from demo 100 to 101 it is that simple we don't have to upload from local and uh, copy the contents to 101 you can directly do from 100 to 101 with this migration tool so all the contents are getting imported to 101 directly from demo 100 now if i see this so all the contents have come up here and it's that simple so hope this was helpful guys uh, let me know if you liked it uh, if you like it uh, it, will it will also let youtube know that you are liking the video and it will be suggested to a lot of people as well so please do with the like button and do subscribe if you like uh, the contents what i do and also if you have any queries please uh, please post it in the comment section i will uh, you know definitely reply to all the queries which you have so yeah that's all hope you all like the video so let's catch again in the next video until then see you bye